Hi everyone, and thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today and in this 30 minute vinyasa practice. All levels so that everyone can join, but with many modifications to advance your practice if you want to. Feel free to provide feedback at the end in the comments section if there's more stuff you wanna work on and share the video if you like the sequence. Thanks so much guys, lay your mats out and let's get started. I want us to go ahead and have a comfortable seat on the ground. So feel free to sit up on a prop or a block or a blanket if that's more comfortable for you or just your bottom. Close your eyes as you sit here and just feel your head right above your heart, your breath moving gently through the body. And as we close our eyes and begin this breath, hopefully you start to feel a nice inhale through the nose and a nice exhale through the nose and just the ability to fluidly control the breath through ujjayi breathing in and out softly breathing in breathing out good see if it's starting to Create a sense of calmness around your body as you breathe in. And as you breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Blink your eyes open and reach your arms all the way up. Interlace the fingers and flip your palms to the sky. So get a lot of room here, stretching from your tailbone straight up, reaching. And then exhale, release your arms down by your sides. Let's transition to tabletop, hands and knees. So bringing your shoulders right on top of your wrist and then your hips right over your knees, and then maybe you can move your bum a little bit side to side, creating some support left and right. Tops of your feet are down, fingers are spread nice and wide. I invite you to inhale, bring your chest forward and up. And then exhale, you're gonna tuck your chin and create cow, or excuse me, create cat as you round out your back. One more time, inhale, cow, sway the spine, look up. Exhale, cat, tuck your chin, round out. Good, and then find a neutral spine, and you're gonna curl your toes and move to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana for your first time today. Grounding the palms, lifting the hips, softening the knees, and then just creating a space where you can reach back with your ribs and your tailbone where you can breathe in and breathe out. And then exhale, we go to plank. So just shift, and then we go to dog, shift. And then we go to plank, shift. And then we go to dog, shift. One more time, plank, and then dog. Good work. Exhale as you breathe out, just kind of noticing how your body feels. And then walk your feet all the way up to your hands for me. So you're at the top of your mat in this nice forward bend like sensation where the head is reaching down, your hips are reaching up and your heart is reaching over those thighs. And then you're gonna take your right palm, grab the right calf muscle, take the left palm, grab the left calf muscle. And then I just want you to round your upper back, bringing your chest to your shins, bringing your tailbone to the sky for three, two, and then hands to ground on one. Exhale as you fold forward nice and deep. And it's okay if it's hard for you to touch the ground. Remember your blocks can be helpful or bend your knees at any time. And then just place your hands on your shin. So Ardha Uttanasana halfway lift. And then exhale, we fold forward. And then round the back. So bending at the knees, rounding of the spine, all the way up. And then once you arrive here, your spine is tall. I want you to take your arms all the way up. 
Interlace your fingers like we did seated. So flip the palm straight up into the air. Lean back. Good, and then exhale, hands by your sides. We'll take a standing side stretch so you don't have to turn, just turning to make it easy to see. Feet together. Then you're just gonna reach up and over. So that nice lateral movement. And then exhale, side two. So slide your hand down, reach up and over. Good, bring everything back to center. Put your hands on your hips and then when you're ready, you're gonna gently fold forward. Take a flat back to lengthen out the spine. Exhale as you fold forward, step back to plank, top of a push-up position. Heart is forward, chaturanga lower. Inhale, cobra up dog. And then exhale back into that down dog we were in a few minutes ago as we started our practice. Let's peel the right leg up to the sky. You're gonna bring your right knee to touch your right elbow, so try to bring it all the way through and then reach your leg back up. Now bring it under and across to your left elbow. Press your leg all the way back up. And then I invite you to step your right foot forward. We'll put our left knee down when ready, pause here. And then sweep both arms up into the air. Set up. Take the hands in a big circle and then find your low back. And then inhale, support it as you pick up your heart. Let your hips sink forward, let your heart open. Three, two, and then exhale, land forward. Frame your foot, curl your back toes and raise your knee for me. And then just pull your hips back to get a nice deep hamstring stretch right here. Hands to blocks if you need it. Micro bend the right knee if you need it, holding here. And then you're gonna bend the right knee, pivot left into a wide-legged forward fold. So you're turning all 10 of your toes, folding forward as you kind of tuck your chin under, gaze back between the feet. And then from there, bone by bone, roll all the way up. Exhale, turn the right foot forward, let the arms come up. Landing in Virabhadrasana B, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your legs and your arms, look up. Exhale, land in a bend. Twice more, inhale. Exhale. Last round, inhale. And then exhale, land in warrior two, looking forward over your right arm. Reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands all the way down. Spin to the ball of your back foot, so try to make that movement fluid. Step back, plank. Lower, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Pull the chest forward, use the top of your feet, and then lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Exhale, feel free to take a nice sigh out of your mouth. And then press your left leg way up into the air. Stretch it up and then touch your left elbow for me. So tap, send your leg back up. Touch your right elbow for me. Tap, send your leg back up, hold it there. Good, and then exhale, step forward. We'll let our right knee come down to the mat and you'll feel the stretch here in your hips. And then again, you can bring your hands to your hips or you can reach them up into the air. And I'm just gonna keep mine on my low back, supporting my lumbar spine to assist this back bend. Three. Good, lift your heart, feel the opening through the front of the body. Two. And then exhale, come forward, frame the foot. Lift your back knee when you're ready. And then exhale, pivot right, wide-legged forward fold. Good, let your head fall. Take your time here to breathe in and out. And then inhale, slowly roll up the spine, inch by inch by inch. Left foot turns forward into warrior two. 
and then land here, nice, solid, strong warrior pose with your left knee bending forward, grounding through your back foot. And then move with me, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Last round, look up to the sky, straighten your legs, land here nice and strong in your legs, and then reverse your warrior, so reach up and back. And then cartwheel your hands down to the mat, please. Spin to the ball of your back foot. And then instead of stepping this left foot back, we're gonna to return to that hamstring stretch so we can get it on our left side. So folding over the shin. And then you're gonna bending your, bend your left knee and step the right foot up. So lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale as you fold forward. Now, instead of grabbing your calf muscles this time, I want you to try to reach from behind your legs, so you'll see I'm feeding my hands between the midline of my legs, and then try to hold your shins. So I'm crossing my forearms, grabbing my shins by reaching through. Cross, and then grab, and then fold. And that may or may not be available based upon flexibility, but it helps you deepen the fold if it feels good. Three. Two. And then exhale, rest on one. Good, lengthen out. Fold in. Reach back up to stand, inhale, sweep. Back bend. And then exhale through the midline. Let's fold forward. Flat back. So take your time. We step to plank. Chaturanga Dandasana lower. Inhale up. And then exhale through your downward facing dog. Press your right foot up. Exhale, touch your right tricep. Send your leg all the way back up. Touch your left tricep. Send your leg all the way back up, and then step the right foot forward again. Lower the left knee, and then again, hands to hips, or fingertips to sky. Take a big inhale, and then I wanna take an open arm twist. So instead of being really deep in the lunge, if you're here with me, I want you to pull back a little bit. From there, rotate to the right, so try to get your ribs to move with you without letting this right knee move. So it's almost like you're turning straight from the belly button up as you twist. Take this right hand to the low back, maybe even to your left hamstring, that's the leg that's behind you. And then see if you can back bend here. Three, you'll see that I rebent my knee. Two, nice, exhale, cartwheel the hands down. That was a big one. Curl the toes and lift your back knee, and then straighten the right leg. Good, pivot left, wide-legged forward fold. Take your hands to a T, and then reach for the ankles, and then dive between the two legs as you feel your head get closer and closer to your yoga mat. Maybe it's touching, or maybe it's still a few feet away, but just take your time here. When you're ready, gently rise all the way up, stacking, pivoting the right foot forward, landing in a solid warrior two. You've been here before. Reverse the warrior. And now lay your right forearm on your thigh or deepen the pose for side angle. I invite you to half bind this left arm by wrapping it behind your back and holding the top of your thigh if you would like to as you roll your ribs open. Keep your right knee moving forward. Feel the space on your left hip. Three, two, re-extend your top arm. Nice job, return to warrior two. Straighten the right leg, give it a nice little break. And then as you bend the knee, cartwheel, Spin to the ball of your back foot, exhale, plank, chaturanga, back bend of choice, remember either cobra or up dog, and then we meet the back of our mat. 
Left leg lifts on your inhale, reach it up high. Touch your left tricep. Press your leg back up. Touch your right tricep. And it's okay if you can't get all the way there, but really try to reach that knee forward. Inhale, leg is high. Exhale, step forward. Welcoming back your knee down, lunge. Sink in. Reach up. Good, now again, you can stay here, put your hands on your hips, it's up to you. And now I want you to, if you're as deep as I am with your knee, pull back. Both arms to sky, and then here's the twist to the left. So you can see on this side, my knee stays in alignment with my ankle, it doesn't fall out, and it stays forward. And then you wanna pinch and squeeze that back cheek to help you twist. Good, grab onto your low back or can your left hand slide down the right hamstring. You'll deepen the lunge in order to reverse. Three, two, take a big inhale for me, reach, and then exhale, woof, cartwheel down. Curl your back toes and raise your knee. And then let the left leg straighten. Pivot right, exhale, final, wide-legged forward fold. Breathe out as you arrive. Move a little bit in the body, maybe even bend your knees a little bit, find the freedom. Sometimes you just gotta do something different than what I'm cueing to keep your body healthy and happy. Exhale, fold in a little bit more. And then bone by bone, rise all the way up. So stack, lift, reach. Good, exhale, pivot, left foot forward, and then land again. Virabhadrasana B. Core is nice and engaged. Spine is long. Let's reverse the warrior. And then allow your left forearm to meet your thigh. And allow your right arm to reach up. Or if you can, half bind. So take the forearm behind the back. Reach for the top of this thigh bone if it's accessible. And then continue to roll your ribs. Three. Belly is nice and strong here. Two. And then on your next breath, return your arm if you're in the bind. Look forward, your legs are tired, but you can do it, come back up. Inhale, reverse, maybe let that left leg straighten if it's real tired. And then bend to cartwheel. Here's your final vinyasa. Meet me in plank. Look forward, lower. Inhale up, and then exhale, we go to downward facing dog. Exhale, open your mouth and breathe out. Drop your knees, let your hips reach back to your heels and let your arms sweep around. See if you can hold your heels as you come into this variation of child's pose. Noticing kind of that rounded back the sensation in your low back. And just slow down your breath here. Nice and gentle, relaxing through the shoulders. And then gently place the hands underneath the shoulder bones, straighten the arms. So you're seated on the heels just for a moment. And again, hopefully this is a comfortable place to be with your knees and thighs. Sometimes it can be really uncomfortable. So learning how to kind of work through those sensations or of course, if there's an injury, modify by coming up onto the knees. Let's return to tabletop and then shift your hips left and right. Raise the right arm high, take a big breath in. Good, put the right hand down. Raise your left arm high, take a big breath in, stretch. Exhale, place the palm down. And then lay the right forearm down and then the left forearm down. Shoulders right over those elbows to so look at your stacking. And then when you're ready, we'll curl our toes. We'll lift our butt. And then you'll be here in this nice, strong, firm variation of dolphin for three. Really activating those shoulders for two. And then exhale, drop your knees. <laughs> nice work. And then we'll make our way onto our bottoms. 
Allow your body to scooch a little bit forward on the mat so you can fully extend your legs so that way when you lay down, you're set up. Feet are at the top of the mat, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, please raise both arms up. And then really sit down to reach up. So feel this tailbone push into the mat. Exhale, long spine brings you forward. Grab the pinky toe edges of your feet and then exhale, fold in. So creating room in the low back as you round forward, creating breath. Being excited and joyful about this sensation of folding and your movement. For three, two, and then one, slowly rise up. Pull the right knee to your chest, give it a big hug. Straighten the right leg out. Pull the left knee to your chest, give it a big hug. Good, straighten it out. And then inhale, put your hands behind you, turn your fingers to face the back of the mat. Bend your knees and plant both your feet. And then I just want you to lift your hips like two inches. So start to use the muscles in your hands and feet. Option one, stay. Option two, hips up. Maybe your head starts to fall. Yes, three two, and then exhale, lower the hips down super slow. Bring your hands around your shins. Sit up nice and tall for me, and then use your body round forward. And if you can't grab those shins, it's okay. Maybe you got close to them. And then exhale, sit up tall, pull your knees into your chest, one, and then the other, so you're in boat, Navasana. Heart is lifting forward. If this is too hard, you can put your feet down or you can place your hands exactly where they just were, but with your fingers facing forward. Holding three, start to engage the muscles in your core and be very aware if you're hunching. Sit up straight, two, and then you're gonna lower halfway if it's available. You're gonna hold that for four. Big smile, three, Shaking is normal too, and then lay flat. Big sigh. Right knee comes to chest. Hug it in. Good, really squeeze the knee to the tummy and then lay it all the way down. Left knee comes to chest, so reach up and over. Big hug, pull it in, squeeze. And then I want you to plant your left foot on the mat and then your right foot on the mat. And I want you to let your knees fall open to the sides of your mat so your feet are touching. And then create room in the hips as your knees fall apart so that the space in the pelvis can be a little bit more open as your palms face the sky. I want you to feel your knees fall away from each other this is a nice restorative hip opening pose here. It's called Supta Baddha Kunasana, meaning supine on your back, bound angle, which is where the feet are touching. And then if it feels just miserably uncomfortable, prop up those knees with blocks maybe, or towels, or simply extend your legs out. You don't have to be in it, okay? Palms up on the sides, the act of receiving. I want you to hold for three breaths. Restorative yin posture means it's relaxing. You're still breathing. You haven't yet moved to your shavasana, but you're starting to let the body soften. Let's bring the hands to the outsides of the legs and bring the legs together gently. Exhale, plant the feet on the mat. And then inhale, elbows and triceps down, fingertips up. So it's kind of like what we call robot arms. Press into those feet and then elevate your hips. Squeeze and tone the glutes the whole time. Your robot arms are active, so you should be pushing down into those triceps. Three, two, nice bridge pose, and then very slowly lower and then let your arms come down. Now, remember the activation in the robot arms. Keep that in your triceps, but add the forearms and the palms and we'll take one more. Go ahead and bridge up, squeeze and tone, hug into your imaginary yoga block, 
which means that you're squeezing your inner thighs towards the midline without letting them touch. One more big breath, make sure you're firming through the glutes and your head, neck, and shoulders are relaxed. Exhale very slowly, lower down. Nice. Hug your knees to your chest, please. Be gentle, maybe take a moment if you need longer. And just rock from side to side on your back. You're massaging the lumbar spine, the sacrum, and then your QL, that really big muscle that runs laterally along the back, which can sometimes get really fussy if your glutes are tight or your back is tight or too much movement, too much sitting, finding that happy medium. Exhale, push your feet into the air. So try to get your legs fully straight all the way from the tailbone to the toes. Hands are down and just point and flex your toes a few times to create movement in your feet. Really important that those feet can comfortably point and flex without foot cramps. And then circle the feet, which gives mobility in the ankles or awareness if they're feeling tight, other way. And then you're gonna place your hands on the insides of your legs for me, please. And I want you to allow your feet to pull away from each other. So start to notice as the feet drive away, the stretch through your inner thighs. Rooting down through low back for three, two, and then slowly bring those legs up, 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 up. Nice. Hug knees to chest. Big exhale out. And then let's lay all the way down onto our backs. Legs fully extended, allowing the foot to externally rotate away from the body. So that way you feel your feet falling away. And then your hands can do the same if you wish. Landing in corpse pose, Shavasana. A place where we can quietly just land in this moment together without the need for movement. So find the pleasure of being still and quiet. The voices and the thoughts in your head slowing down so that just your breath is what's happening right now. You'll deepen your inhales and your exhales when you're comfortable. And just start to feel the breath rise and fall. I welcome you to take two to three more breaths. The more you practice yoga, the longer your breaths are gonna get. You'll be able to inhale for longer and exhale for longer. And then on your next breath, take those arms, reach them way up and over your head. Stretching, reaching, opening, creating space. And then gently let those feet slide in, hugging your knees to your chest when you're ready, rocking left to right. And then exhale, rocking to seated. Sit up nice and slow way by closing the eyes and returning to this comfortable seat together. And then as your hands come together at the heart, this is called Anjali Mudra, I invite you to remember why you laid down your mat and why you showed up to practice. And it could be a simple answer. You're tight and you wanted to stretch. Or it could be a deeper answer where you needed the silence of the movement and just the control of your breath to regain perspective and success in your life. Have a very beautiful day. Please bow forward with me. Namaste. Thanks for practicing and I hope you feel well.